doing another vlog vlog for this. Um, just at the park with my kids and my wife, and um, we're just having, a, you know, some relaxation finally for the day. Um, I started filming already. Uh, took care of one subject, and I believe I did a semi-decent job. I could have did better in my opinion, but you know, you're always going to be hard on yourself. Um, what I have to do better tips already for myself and for everybody else much more time and emphasis I need to put into my b-roll b-roll makes the movie go without b-roll you got nothing so you got a boring uh, uh, talking head uh, though I got some really good quality talking heads I need much more b-roll more b-roll the better and I'm gonna be at this point because I don't have to do all my b-roll the same day I'm okay. I got the bulk of the interview. Pretty much the whole interview, in fact. Um, the only thing different, what I am going to do is I'm going to actually go on location with them, spend the day with each of these two subjects, one at a time, because I did two so far. And then while I spend the day with them, I'm going to record pretty much every major aspect of their day of what they do. And um, it's just great. I'm sitting over here looking at my daughter and my wife finally playing together out at the park the right way, playing. And, um, like I said, I'm going to spend a day with them, get some more footage, get some fresh new footage of them doing what they do, and I'm going to be able to weave that in with this interview. I'm going to get tons of B-roll. That day when I go out, it's all about the B-roll and the look. The audio is going to be perfect, showing what they do, um, because so far, following Curtis Judd's advice and Ivy Connerly's advice, man, so uh, my audio quality is through the roof now compared to what I began with, and I'm impressed with the quality I'm getting. And I, I thank God that people are, are giving me tips that are helping me in this journey. And uh, I can already see clearly exactly where Ivy Connolly's How to Mic Somebody Up Appropriately uh, came into play. And it really made a difference. I had tons of wind going. Uh, I had mics, on-camera mics, my um, Techstar SG598s. And you could, st oh, and I had the uh, newer uh, windshields on them. And you could still hear the wind because the wind was blowing out in uh, um, the, at the park I was at. And um, essentially what I'm dealing with now is when I mic the person up, their shirt became a windscreen. And I mean, it, it was it was beautiful. It almost sounded like we were recording the audio indoors. I mean, it's not a freakish type indoors. It just wasn't, it just killed almost all the wind. And that's what I want. So thumbs up to Ivy Connerly. You know your business. Uh, thumbs up to Curtis Judd, um, who does videos. Um, and uh, that's about it. That's what I got for the day. And uh, I'll be back again with some more info. And there's another piece of information. One of my uh, subjects, such a blessing to me. He gave me, gave, and I don't, I, I didn't ask this guy for it. He gave me a um, Glidecam HD 2000. Whoa whoa he said it was just too cumbersome for him and the irony is yes glide cams are very cumbersome they they tear your arm apart but i will tell you i have to put my panties on there my panasonic g7s and the uh, tacstar sg598 on there it's so lightweight it doesn't hurt my arm as such i was able to walk around testing it and getting smooth footage well 90 about 80 percent smooth footage my first time around after balancing it based on internet information, um, I was able to run around with it for a solid, no question, like three, four minutes. And for what I'm seeing, I will not need to handhold anything for five minutes straight like that. But I can do it if I have to. That's it. This is uh, my first documentary, but it's not going to be the last. I'm David Griffin, you guys. All right, catch you again soon.